Welcome back to the channel and first of all a website on here because what this is about is I built a keep alive circuit for trail cams I often use and you know it worked okay but I found a better one so here it is at pjrc.com forward slash battery pack load so this is the the fella's website where he's talking through what he was trying to do there's the original circuit diagram very very simple just a few components and he did his calculations and whatnot. His average battery current is three and a half milliamps. I do think that the average on the one that I've made is less. But anyway, um, yeah, all very simple. He does. He made some boards for his, and there we are with his finished example. Right, so let's get on with building one or two of these. I've made four of these little circuits so far. Here's an example one. There we are, very simple to put together, very few components. What I'm going to do is add that one itself to this, which is to the trail cam. I'm going to put uh, three different circuits on, three trail cams. I'm going to replace this one because even though it worked fine enough, these don't seem to use well, hardly anything. I'll show that next. Okay, I've got one of them plugged into a charger doctor. And now what I'll do is plug that into this power bank, which presumably is the wrong way up. Oh no, there we go. So, there's the voltage, 5.05 volts, and nothing showing on there, which is extraordinary. Oh, we've got, we got 10 milliamps showing, and that's the thing. Even though there's a spiky kind of a, uh, an input, and you know probably quite hard for one of these two to show, then this kind of a circuit does use somewhere like a 100 milliamps or somewhere that's showing on it. But as you can see, that's really good. And that's what kind of excited me enough to, well, to make four of them. So the next thing is to put this one in place of that and try out the trail cam and make sure it works. But as you can also see, these power banks power down between about 10 or 20 or 30 seconds. This thing's carried on going. So I'm very pleased indeed. And also, of course, heat shrink can go over something like that, make it all secure and permanent. But yeah, it's still running it and it's still switched on. Also, just to show, I've disconnected the little circuit now. And what we should see in a few seconds is this power bank turn off. So it's not like the charger doctor draws enough. There we go, it's gone off. Here's the circuit diagram, and the only difference I've made is to use a 220 ohm instead of the 22 shown on the diagram. That can be changed at higher and lower depending on your individual power bank, but I found that the 220 used, well, pretty much nothing at 10 milliamps. It, it's really good, really efficient, and everything stays cold to the touch too. Here's that circuit now attached to the cable that's going to go onto the trail cam and here's the one that was on it which you can see used a 555 timer. So this thing is a heck of a lot easier to make than just with regular components you might have on your workbench, or at least on my workbench. Okay, let's take this outside and give it a test. There we go, all set up. Pointing over to some food that I've left out, hopefully get birds and um, possums and whichever. We'll find out in the morning. Well, as it happened, it hadn't even gone dark and these three crows appeared and they seemed to be enjoying themselves with the, the bird food on the floor. So I was absolutely delighted with that. The system does work. The component count is tiny for these things. Just fantastic. 